not only should you not assume that they're attacking you, but actually negative and critical feedback when it comes from a place of you know good intentions, so not when somebody is um, trying to um, kind of uh, bring you down or you know competing with you, but when people provide you with honest critical feedback, negative feedback, you should see it as a gift. You know, we live in a world that is mostly very nice. People today live in organizations where there is a very positive, nice and altruistic uh, code of conduct and where people will automatically praise you and provide you with positive feedback, even if you th- if they think that what you did is actually not very good. Right. And plus, you, you go and seek feedback from your colleagues who work with you. So if you tell them, was this presentation good or did you like my sales pitch or do you think I did well? They're going to say yes, yes, yes. Just like your best friends are going to tell you yes if you ask them, you know, did you like this this meal I cooked for you or do you like uh, my new shirt? However, you can break that pattern and you can uh, deploy your curiosity in ways that make you a better employee and a better, um, uh, a more talented person at work if you actually embrace criticism and negative feedback and learn that, you know. So people, you know, we even often hear people say, oh, you know, it's critical that you learn fakes, but actually it's even more critical and harder to learn from your successes because when something goes right or goes well, you automatically praise yourself. What if even in those situations you found people who are very critical and you actually ask them, what could I have done better? In what areas can I still improve? What would you have done in my situation? And so that creates a very humble habit of seeking feedback, of trying to learn what other people are thinking of you. And that just, it can only make you a better person. 